for tonight. Proposal 1, the ballot measure to fix our roads, is in big trouble. Our exclusive Channel 7 Free Press poll reveals voters are set to give Prop 1 a big thumbs down. Simon Shaked is live in Southfield where he talked to drivers and a very concerned mayor. Simon. Absolutely. We can all agree that the roads in Metro Detroit are atrocious, but how we pay to fix them is still up for debate. As we hit the streets to hear from the people in the days leading up to the vote on Prop 1, there's still plenty of mixed feelings. I'm going to pay for it when I'm driving, so I'd rather just pay for the higher sales tax and keep my car looking fresh. Is it going to actually go to the roads? See, they're seeing other things, so that opens the door for them to use the money where they want to. I think it's most probably justified to raise some taxes to get the roads repaired. Everything they say when it comes to taxes and what they're going to do for us is so always a lie. According to an exclusive new Free Press and WXYZ poll, 61% of likely voters say they plan to vote no on the complex proposal. Some say it's too complicated. Others distrust government or just feel their taxes are already too high. But increasing the sales tax from 6 to 7% would do a lot to fix roads in communities like Taylor. The city of Taylor is committed to taking the pothole pledge. Mayor Rick Sollers was the first to take the seven pothole pledge to repair roads quickly, but he sees why Prop 1 isn't getting enough traction. Are you disappointed to see Prop 1 not getting the support it needs to pass so far? Yes, I think that some of the some of the legislation or the legislators that help put Prop 1 on the ballot should definitely take some ownership in it. The proposal would raise close to 1.3 billion a year more to fix and maintain Michigan's broken roads. Of course, the plan also sends money to schools, transit and rail, local governments, and even gives tax breaks to low-income families. But only 29% support it now, with another 10% undecided. Bottom line, it could take a miracle for Prop 1 to pass on Tuesday. Is it a popular proposal? It doesn't sound like it, but selfishly here in the city of Taylor, we need it, and uh, if, it, if it does pass, then we will definitely put it to good use. Now, don't forget, Lansing still has not delivered a solid plan B. If Prop 1 fails, we will stay all over this until the roads get fixed. Live in Southfield, Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News. We know you will. Thank you so much, Simon.